Whoa! Looks like it decently worked out this time. Let's take that bit a bit more carefully. Welcome to Halo Combat Evolved. Gotta go with Legendary, the only acceptable difficulty for Combat Evolved. It's a very fair and fun Legendary mode, unlike Halo 2. I don't care if it's God's own anti-son of a bitch machine or a giant hula hoop, we're not gonna let them have it. What we will let them have is a belly full of lead and a pool of their own blood to drown in. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! One of the best Halo characters ever, let's be honest. He's hot, blowing the pins in five. This way! Once upon a time, I was foolish enough to follow him. I'm no longer that person anymore. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. Keep your head down. There's two of us in here now, remember? So, I'm gonna go straight to the health pack. See you later, guys. I am not picking a battle with two elites on Legendary without a plasma pistol. Just keep lining up for me, why not? I'm gonna go the risky way. Got ya, bitch. Think I stuck him? No, I didn't. Stuck him though. Got you. I think there's one more maybe. Yes, I can see him on the map. So we're coming up on the end of this mission now. Pretty decent start. We haven't died yet. Uh, let's not jinx it right now. Because we've only got a few more enemies left. And this is not a no death playthrough. But it would be cool to see how far we can get without a death. Oh, that's going to chain react I think. Oh no, frag grenades don't chain react then, I guess. Plasma grenades do though, as you've just seen. Simple. And that's it for this mission, actually. One more grunt. There we go. There's one last life for quick no. Get aboard before oh, it launches. No. No. Now would be a very good time to leave. We're gonna make it, aren't we, sir? I don't wanna die out here. Look! Don't worry, it'll be a smooth landing. Sure you wouldn't rather take a seat? We'll be fine. So it turns out we weren't fine, everyone's dead. Well, now we're out here on Halo. Look at that. There's nothing we can do. I still remember the first time when I was a kid, when I was like five years old or however old I was, when I walked out of this crashed life pod and, and seen this. We are going to need to take out one of these banshees. We can, we can forget about those guys. Thankfully, I've got a combat evolved magnum, so it's not going to be too difficult. There you go. Let's keep the marines at this part for as long as possible. Let's not have them die. I want to keep the no death thing going. Not now. There we go. Good to see you, sir. I thought we were the only ones who made it off the Pillar of Autumn. It's a mess, sir. We're scattered all over this valley. We called for evac, but until you showed up, I thought we were cooked. Well, that's what this mission is all about. Saving the marines that are scattered around this place. Now this one you can get up close to. Just to stick them. But now we've got two ships on the way at the same time. My pistol's low in ammo. There's some more up top though. I accidentally got rid of my plasma pistol too. Is that more? It is, we saved them, nice. Not that it really means anything. Let's go. Ready for the famous line? This cave is not a natural formation. Someone built it. Well, I'll never guess that, to be honest. It looks pretty natural to me. The bad news is that the Covenant have captured the entire surviving command. How did I miss every single one of them? Except for the Marine. Not to a jackal. Not to a jackal. 
to a grunt instead. Well, there's the first death. You know what, screw this. Let's get back in the Warthog. Get in, soldier. We're gonna go splatter some Covenant. Oh, that's not good. That is terrible, actually. That's the worst thing that can happen. In fact, I think I just... I think I did just splatter my teammates. I'm really bad at this Warthog thing. Now we're going to rescue Captain Keys. Second death incoming, I think, maybe. Yeah, definitely. The amount of needles. Oh my god, I don't know how I survived that. Hey, at least my marines have some sense and actually, you know, backing up with me. Nice job, guys. Nice job. <gasps> Good grenade. For the most part. Another brilliant grenade. Bad snipes, though. Just best to not let them get the chance to kill you, you know? Even more, eh? How many waves are there? There we go. There's one now. That almost went to shit. Right, now we're in the ship. Similar situation. Gonna be a shit ton of enemies coming out from random doors. Starting off with... An invisible elite with a sword. So not very invisible, because his sword glows, but it can be dangerous. There he is. And stop- oh, nearly betrayed everyone there. In fact... And there's a sword elite. Just took one of my marines. Plasma pistols in this game. And how do you do? I'm on one bar of health. Those plasma pistols rip you apart. Now we have no marines to distract the hunters. So we're just going to have to do this on our own. It should be no problem. There's one down. There we go. There's actually a fairly cool speedrunning trick that I learned years ago from, you know, watching speedruns on YouTube. That I'm going to do after this. It just skips like a few enemies. There is an updated version of the trick, but I haven't kept up with speedrunning to know how to pull that one off. But essentially, you have to throw multiple grenades and get this invincibility. And it should blast you off. Up to this level. And then, if you throw this one, you'll use your shields that you just got, or part, part of your shields to get up to here. And then throw one more to get up to the final level. Although I won't be using every single speedrunning trick that I know in this game for this playthrough, because it can break the entire game. Last two sniper bullets gone, we're gonna have to clear this room out with just a plasma pistol. Just spam the room with grenades. I just thought of that strategy, that'll work. You, however... Okay, it's just me and the... It's just me and you, buddy. Wow, that was pathetically easy. Chief, Katana, I have a new mission for you. We need to beat the Covenant to Halo's control room. Marines, let's move. No problem. Sorted. Oh yeah, you can't let Captain Keys die. Because if he dies, you go back to the, the, the checkpoint. Like an escort mission. And you always want to be in front. Because they like to throw grenades a lot. The Marines... It also fails if you die. You know, getting smacked in the face with this weapon must be extremely painful. Move! What a moron! Can't trust these guys at all around grenades. What the- You see what I'm saying? That was a frag grenade! That was one of you fuckers! Right, I've got no sniper for this part. It's basically three invisible elites. And obviously, if they get too close, they'll just one-shot Captain Keys. But because they're invisible, they have lower HP. Right, let's watch Captain Keys get us out of here. Captain, Hunter! Hang on. Nice one, sir. Time for a little payback. Again, not gonna do the speedrunning tactics on this one. We're just gonna play it as it's supposed to be played. Let's do this, boys. Let's see how many we can save this time. My guess is genuinely not that many at all. Like, in the slightest. Take care of you. Ah. Oh.
and you. You know what? That went a lot better than I thought. In fact, yeah, I am on legendary. I had to just check there. I'm doing a decent job at saving these guys on legendary. Shoot them. Shoot them. Splatter. Anything. Right, we need shield. We need shield. We need shield. There we go. Nice. You know what? I'm going to ram it down. Got one of them. I don't want to be there, though. I do not want to be here. I've got two bars of health. Passage is just sitting there, unaffected. Well, one of them survived. That's good enough. They've locked the doors. And we don't have enough firepower to get through them. Let's go unblock the security then. I'm just gonna spam grenades. Can only go one way. Okay, my other marine's dead, so I'm on my own again. You know, even though the marines are completely useless for the most part, I still feel a sense of loneliness every time they die. It's like, damn, I'm really on my own now. I haven't even got my bullet sponge friends with me. I'm about to... If one of those shots hits me, I'm... Wow. Watch a professional handle this situation. The hollow panel to shut down the security system. Right, so now that door's gonna open and we can go back to where we were. Good. That should open the door that leads into the main shaft. I was so scared at this part as a kid. The eerie music. The invisible elites. I'm on one bar of health. I'm on one bar of health. That chain reaction must have blown that guy to smithereens, let's be honest here. I think I'm safe. Got rockets here. I'm gonna try spare them though. I mean, there is some ammo there that I can get. Yeah, fuck you. Eat that. Give me this bad boy. So again, we're going back to where we were. Oh, nice! Hit the backflip. I'm actually going to take the warthog in with me before I go in. That way, when I have to escape, I can just drive out with the warthog. How did you survive that? I mean, come on. Right, again, you want to use your rockets on hunters, but why should I when I can just do that? Yeah, actually, it's probably better to just use rockets on elites. Hey. Activate the switch. Analyzing. Halo's control center is located there. That structure appears to be some sort of temple or shrine, if I've interpreted this correctly. So, now we're getting the hell out of here. Got some epic music to do it with. I always get lost in this godforsaken place. Uh, where are we going? Up here. We've only got one shot left, though, in the rocket. And I think I'm going to waste it on you. That nearly hit the door when it closed. That was a close call. You know, though, it does feel good to have a plasma pistol again. Good dodge, buddy. Good dodge. Take that one, though, please. Okay. There you go. That's a frag grenade. <gasps> I'm not even going to bother with these invisible elites. I'm just going to ram some of them and go get these shields that I didn't pick up earlier. I think I might be good if I just go and get in the... Pelican, but I might play it safe from here. Seems like the coast is relatively clear. Oh, of course. You know what? Just get me in. I love grunts. When they're not shooting me and I'm on my last bit of health, that is. Great start. That's... That was better. You know, typically the elite should die with those grenades, but... I'd rather take one dead than all... Ooh! Yeah, let's not end it now, please. Gonna be going through a lot of these rooms in this level. A lot of these rooms. Assuming we can actually get to them. And actually, now that I think about it, being at this bridge section is also pretty terrible at 1 HP. Let's try to take the Banshee out real quick. Because this guy can ruin quite a lot, actually. Brilliant. There we go. Now we've got to make our way down there. Oh, no ammo in my pistol. Are you serious right now, bro? One bar of health, like I said. And he's coming up. Great. You know, I'm going to smack you instead. Come back here. Stay over there and we'll be fine. You're not staying over there, are you? Simple. Now, if we're careful here, 
we can actually sneak past this entire room and get out of it because they're all sleeping. However, there it there is an elite that patrols, and okay, we did it. He can actually detect you behind him, depending on whether or not he's looking to the side. Ooh. We're good. We did it. Easy. I'm gonna hope that this wraith doesn't take out all of my marines before I can get what I need. I'm gonna leave the sniper, to be honest. I'll take the rocket launcher instead. Ah, you twat. This is what I'm saying. Can you not give me a little second to prepare? Okay, there's one of my marines gone. Mr. Ghost, that's gonna kill me now. Get closer, please. Oh, he's targeting me now. Shit. That means all my marines are dead, so I'm not even going to bother going back over there. Believe me, I'm going to kill it, because... What I'm going to do is... Get in this tank. I'm going to get in the scorpion. And then I'm going to... Just going to continue hitting that tree, are you? See you later, mate. Whoa. Gonna wait for them to uh, converge in the middle and then BANG! Run the last one over. Blow the bridge up, why not? Right, just blow it up from a distance. Put as many shells into that thing as possible. Same thing from over here, just snipe with the scorpion, all the enemies on the other side. I'm. Oh. Uh, see ya, buddy. Right. We made it. Activate the switch. You're not getting in the ghost. I am. It's mine. I'm done with this stupid tank. These jackals should not be that difficult to get past in all honesty on a ghost. Should be able to just glide right past them. See you later, folks. Now, is there a rocket launcher over here? Or is it just ammo? Oh, there's a rocket. I'll take it. Face me, 1v1. There we go. Right, now this is one of the bridge sections, so we're going to actually just carefully take these guys out. Every last one of them. Now, obviously, you got to watch out for the enemies over there as well, because they will wake up when they hear the shooting, the battle that is ensuing on the bridge, and they will start firing as well. I mean, you can't really dodge their sort of fire by just, you know, hiding on this side of the bridge, but still, it's something to note. Oh, I thought you were dead, buddy. No shields, no shields. There we go. You know what, maybe we could just take these guys out from here as well. And if I'm not wrong, there should be an invisible elite there. Two? <gasps> Did not expect that. To be honest, this level is... Maybe a little bit too long, going through very, very, very similar rooms. We've got hunters on the other side this time. Plus, a bunch of new enemies on this side of the bridge too, so my clearing out didn't really do much. Right, you know what? I'm gonna try something. Can you do that? Can you get over to their side? Jesus. It's obviously very dangerous trying this out as well, since they are shooting at me. Ah, nice. Right. Get over here, mate. Piss off. You next. You know what? I'll take you... I'll take you out while I'm here. Behind this cover. Because there are only two enemies on this bridge now with the hunters, so I'm good over here. Yeah, I didn't think about the fact that I could completely screw up getting back over. Now we're good. That was a waste of a grenade. Don't follow me! <laughs> what are you... Is he dead? What? What was that? Do it again if you want. 
take them out. Okay, God, I've got an elite, two banshees, and a wraith that is actively trying. How does he even know I'm there? No, please. Okay, one of them's down. Don't know where the other one went, actually. I'm just gonna try and jump on here. Yeah, there we go. Now, if the Wraith doesn't hit me, I should be good. Because there's actually no enemies on here. Okay, we're done. The Covenant found something. Buried in this ring. Something horrible. And now, they're afraid. Something buried? Where? The Captain. We've got to stop the Captain. Keys? What the are weapons we cache he's looking for. It's not really... We can't let him get inside. I don't understand. There's no time. Get out of here, find keys, stop him. Before it's too late! Well, now we have an even more annoying enemy to face. Potentially a more annoying enemy to face, let's just put it that way. When they start wielding rocket launchers, this is where we see them. But it's not where we get to meet them. Look, if you just look up over there. <gasps> what is that? I shit myself when I seen this as a kid. And then you go down here and you can see assault rifle fire. Explosions, Covenant running away, but you go in there, and there's no one there. Again, this level, just, just going through it, progressing, seeing the Covenant, but not seeing anything else, but knowing there's something else here. Shit and bricks, shit and bricks. It's just, you know, a very eerie level. They, I think they nailed it, the atmosphere. Stay back! Stay back! You're not turning me into one of those things! I'll blow your brains out! Holy crap, you actually got dangerously close to killing me there, because I wasn't paying attention. This was my actual reaction as a kid. <laughs> it's cool because again, you get to see the helmet cam footage of the Marines, you know, moving through the same area that you just went through. Also pretty confused as to what caused all of this. And then you see them make their way into the room that you're currently sitting in, watching the footage. And this is the aftermath. This was the moment. It's this part. I've got no grenades either, so I'm pretty screwed actually right now. I'm gonna have to just keep running. Because I don't think they have weapons right now. Let's get the hell out of here, because this whole place now is infested. Okay, I have pretty much no chance at saving those marines. Ah, you've got a shotgun. Give me it. This is all I need to cause serious damage to the flood. Uh-oh. Quick, quick, get me the hell out of here. Finally, we're up the with the Marines. Got some more shotgun ammo. Now I've got my bullet sponges, I feel a little bit better. So I'll try and make them actually last quite a bit, you know, by helping them out real quick instead of just leaving them. I am the monitor of Installation 04. I am 343 Beauty Spark. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation, but I require your assistance. Come, this way. <sighs> now it's time for the library. 
the library and then what is it after that two betrayals back to back two long and very dangerous missions because this is just floor after floor after floor of flood with rocket launchers, with shotguns, with everything you can, everything you don't want them to have, basically. And uh, our shotgun has been taken away from us. I'm not sure why the weapons don't carry over. Could have sworn they used to, but I suppose I'm wrong. That guy's got a shotgun though, so if I can get that, there it is. Perfect. Do they just keep coming? Help me, I don't like this mission. Oh, we've got loads of them. Like, this guy up there. Just making things so much worse. It's one of these bits anyway, where you have to wait for the monitor to return. He's like, just stay here for a little bit, I'll go unlock the door. Mate, I'm absolutely fighting for my life over here. Good thing is, you can use those fellas as grenades. When you don't have any. I'm gonna try not to stick around here because again I think this is one of the parts where they spawn behind you. Not speed run but just keep my pace up to avoid the enemies. Um, overshield here. Comes in handy. Although let's be honest by the time I get out of here my shields are probably gonna be gone. Mm, no, we've, we've still retained quite a bit of it. However, I have no shotgun left, or barely any at all. Which is why I'm not really sticking around, because I can't kill all those guys with uh, a pistol. Going the wrong way. There's a, there's a shotgun there, but again... I'm risking being grouped up and ganged up on. Right, first floor done. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Please wait here. No, I don't think I will. Coming up on the end of the second floor, actually, I think. But again, still quite a few... Yeah, still quite a few to worry about. There's the rocket. Whoa! Right, any health pack or anything I can pick up? I am about, to, about dead. Like, close enough. Got one rocket left, barely any shotgun left. But to be honest, I don't know why people say this is the hardest mission in Combat Evolved. It's, it's really not. The next mission is the hardest one. Alright, this bit's gonna be shit. You gotta hold the position, but you get swarmed, so. <sighs> gonna be going back to a checkpoint, it looks like. Already, I'm nearly dead got to stay here for at least a minute and then when we do go out we've only got to deal with you know rocket flood yeah it's open Whoa. back off i think that is this floor cleared actually whoa maybe not No, I'm dead. Too many needles, too many needles. I'll take extra precaution this time by not only throwing a grenade, which completely missed, but again, we don't need it with the rocket. I thought that was a good use for my uh, last rocket. <sighs> last floor. Not just the last floor, but we are basically at the end of the mission. The problem is the last part is probably the most difficult part of the level. Look at that. Look how many there are. Good rocket though. I haven't got a ranged weapon. I need a ranged weapon really quickly. That should be it, because that was a fuck ton of enemies. I can still see more on the map though. Oh my god, I'm gonna make a run for it. 
Where did they all come from? Come on, cutscene, cutscene, cutscene. There we go. Protocol requires that I take possession of the index for transport. Your organic form renders you vulnerable to infection. The index must not fall into the hands of the flood before we reach the control room and activate the installation. Halo doesn't kill flood, it kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your query, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. And we're going to start right off the bat with... Look out. Getting shot out by sentinels. Brilliant. I'll take the sniper for now. I'm going to exchange it later on. But I'll take the sniper. My favourite strategy is to just, instead of walking down all the levels, just do this. Let's use my last two sniper shots and make them count. Well, there's the no death to betrayer run already gone to shit. This is going to be a long fight, but I'm going to use the plasma plasma rifle. Time for the next one. Let's go find another one. <laughs> I'll be taking this. Thank you very much. Now I can keep my distance here, but what I'm going to do first is boom right in the door. Right, so let's. Go and activate this generator. And the way you activate these is by standing close to them. It will actually deplete your shields. Which makes a lot of these areas very dangerous because there are enemies that approach you afterwards. Well, these guys, you can just run past them, but later on there's going to be flood and everything. Now I'm going to do a similar thing over here. Just again, blow them up initially. Splatter as many of them as possible like that. That was extremely dangerous for multiple reasons. We're going in loud. I don't need to be stealthy around here. Just take the grenade, brother. You can see him fighting up there. I'm just going to hang back. Whoever wins, wins. Then I can take care of the last few remaining survivors. I have to say, though, some of the combat evolved weapons are my favorites in the entire series. Like the shotgun, favorite shotgun. The pistol, favorite pistol. So what we're going to do is make ourselves very known to the flood and then watch them all. Oh, he's got a shotgun. That's not what I want to see. Whoa! They've always got the most deadly weapons. This is the bridge with the banshees. I've got a rocket though. Oh, the flood got the other banshee because it's right here. Well, I've absolutely just wasted my shot at that, haven't I? The good thing is there is more over here. Question is, can I get there? Get screwed, buddy. Get screwed. I want to save my rockets, because I've got a lot of rockets, and there's a section coming up where I'm going to really need them. So I'm just going to try and get past these fellas. Peacefully. That wasn't very peaceful, but I did live, so I'll take that. And there's a ton of elites over here. Again, I've only got a shotgun and a rocket, and I want to save my rocket, so I'm going to try splatter some of them. Uh, use the Warthog as cover and then get in the Banshee and fly off very nice and peacefully. Now, there is some Banshee warfare going on over here because I'm going to be getting followed. Actually, how many are there? Just one or two. Well, there's one of them. So let's take him out first. The Wraith, but that shouldn't be a problem. Why is there a banshee that just flung off the edge of that cliff? I don't know. But my banshee is on two bars of health, so I'm going to try to get out this thing as fast as possible by essentially 
going to where I need to go. I'm ditching it. That's one bar of health. There's a fuel rod gun, Grunt. Whoa, he's looking at me. Oh my god, that was so dangerous. I don't believe I survived it. So this is what I'm saying. This is a flood room. On top of the flood room being dangerous as it is, we have to break our shields again for the generator. And then a bunch more walking. Looks like it decently worked out this time. Of course he had to have a fucking rocket. The last one. Who thought giving these guys rocket launchers was a good idea? Like, actually, who thought that? Who thought in the dev team? Yeah, let's give these guys rocket launchers. Point blank range. Just don't give a fuck about their own personal well-being. That did it. The pulse generator overloaded. One more to go. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> now there's Rocket Flood down here too that could blow the shit out of me. There's one of them. There's two of them. There's a couple more. There's two of them. See ya. Now the Flood and the Covenant are fighting over there. There is a Banshee that might pose a threat. But what's essentially going to happen is I'm assuming the Flood are going to win the battle. Are they? I don't know. But I need to get over there. And I need them all to be dead. There's a ghost I want to rob. I'm just going to throw grenades. Hope for the best. That actually looked like it worked out fairly well for me. That elite should die because he's got no shields. And we're left with just one flood. Not bad. That worked out very well. Take the ghost. Go up here. And we're going to need a banshee. The banshees are behind all the stuff that we have to avoid. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. None of you s No care for his own well-being. No, you don't want to kill me. You want to kill the Flood. They're the bigger threat here. And just like that... Successful banshee heist. And just like that, we're done. Wasn't exactly deathless, but I'd say a lot of those parts went very smooth. Oh, I see. The coordinate data needs to be. Right. Sorry. Can you actually get over there? There's a health pack. I've always wondered if you can. Oh my god, you. No, you can't. You can, but there's an invisible barrier. Okay, now we're now we're on the ground fighting. It's just pure, you know com complete chaos. Everyone's fighting each other. We've got elites. We've got flood. Towards the ship's gravity. Then. Wow! <laughs> Nearly got back in the ship just from that. Let's take that bit a bit more carefully. I'm gonna take the sniper because there are hunters. So I'm gonna let them live because I feel like these guys are you know these guys are tanks. They should be able to take out. <gasps> You know, maybe focus on the enemy in front of you as opposed to the one just watching. I could take her out right now, you little piece of shit. Yeah, snipers don't work against Flood. That's brilliant. Give me the Magnum then. I'll take you out from here, you twat. Right, there's our way back in the ship. I'm gonna spam it with grenades because there's about 10 elites up there. Uh-oh. Shotgun. Let's go find Captain Keys. No human life signs detected. The captain, he's one of them. We can't let the flood get off this ring. You know what he'd expect. What he'd want us to do. My man got infected the by the flood. Let's go back to the shuttle bay and find a ride. I love these higher level Covenant. Give me that banshee. 
Give me it. Last mission time, boys. We're not gonna make it. We'll make it. Pull up! Pull up! You did that on purpose, didn't you? So much personality for a man that has, well, no facial expressions. This level is a nice break from all the other crap that we've had to deal with. It's really relatively simple. Shouldn't even die if we're lucky. Actually, I think I might be dead now. I forgot about those guys. It's a nice break. Pretty fun. Got the Warthog run at the end as well uh, to look forward to. How about I introduce you to my Flood Buddies over here? Look, they're awesome people. The thing with the last few levels of this game are that the Grunts can wield fuel rod guns. So they basically, they're like mini hunters. In a sense, I mean, they still, you know, they're still one shot. Oh, that was a nice stick. Yeah, they're like mini hunters. They can blow you up if you're not careful. Obviously, they're a lot easier to take out. Also, though, they actually drop their fuel rod gun when they die. You can't pick it up or anything, but it does explode. So you have to be careful when you do kill them to move out the way because it will blow up. And if there's any grenades that they dropped, they will blow up as well. So we're planning on blowing up the ship, the Pillar of Autumn, to destroy Halo. Monitor stopped it, so we're just gonna do it a different way. Now, if we are gonna die in this level, it will be right here. Oh, one of them had a rocket too. Don't wanna use it right now because if I hit one of the popcorn in front of me, I'm good as gone. But look how many there are though. Seriously, where are they even coming from at this point? Now, before we go to the left over there, if you go over here, I, I always found this fascinating when I was younger. There's a room full of firepower, just explosive shotgun ammo. However, on Legendary, this door opens and there's invisible flood. I think this is the only time in the game you see them. You don't see this anywhere else in the game. And there's a lot of them too, so I don't know why I bothered even checking this out, because, I, yeah, I am on Legendary. I always just found it cool because, again, this is something that doesn't... That is the only part where they show up. So, let's destroy these fusion reactors. What we're going to do is just, one by one, wait until they open up. Now, the problem with this is that there's also Flood and Sentinels. Chasing us while we do this. I'm good as dead. There is health packs up here, so that's uh, I actually don't mind falling off there. Two more left, though. Let's get this one done really quickly before the Sentinels arrive. There we go. Shit. Back to the top, eh? There it is. It's done. Sentinels are here. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No flood. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm actually going to try to find the secret grunts, and that's probably going to result in the first death, because I don't think you can find the secret grunt listen to his dialogue, and then still make it off the ring. We have five minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now. Activating final countdown timer. When it is clear, the engines will detonate. The explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't be here when it blows. Could be wrong, but I think it is on one of the uh, tunnels to the right. Covenant Banshees are approaching on your six. Evade! Say again! With it being a character death, I wanted to actually just stop for that real quick. Definitely not going to have enough time, but the Halo theme's kicking in. Shit, I think it was through there. Good thing that food you both way before me has the starship, because if I worked up a big, crunchy thirst! I like leaving the friendly grunts to survive. Not like he's gonna survive much longer anyway. Now there is absolutely no way on earth I can escape this now. Up ahead, there's a gap in the trench. At top speed, we should be able to clear it. That was smooth. 43 seconds, I don't think it's possible. 
I wasted so much time finding that thing, turning around, pissing around, just doing this, that, and the other. I've got 30 seconds. Actually, you know what? This is it. This might be enough time. I'm not going to make it. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Oh, wow. With 5 seconds remaining after pissing around for that grunt, I found it. I actually got there. That's a legendary ending, the little bonus that you get to see if you complete it on legendary. Shut them down, we'll need them later. and echoes. We're all that's left. We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo, it's finished. No, I think we're just getting started. Funny thing about that cutscene right there where he takes his helmet off, you go on the PC version and move the camera where it's not supposed to be inside the ship. It's just another helmet. Well, anyway, see you all in Halo 2.